Good morning, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a day in my life video. Um, it is Monday, August 14th, and I just woke up. It's 8.15, I should have woken up like an hour ago, but I didn't because someone, aka my lovely cat, kept me up from like 6 to 7 a.m. And I was too tired to wake up, but, like, so I needed to sleep. Anyways, it's 8.15. I just got up and changed. Um, I work from home right now, so that is what I'm about to do. But I figured I would just get on and say hello. And, yeah. So, I will show you guys my day today. It's not going to be super crazy, but, yeah. Okay, so, it is... Ow! Don't bite me! Dunk it! Stop it! Jesus, he freaking bit me and he scratched me. Um, so it's like 8.35 or something. I just ate some cereal. I'm playing Monopoly Go. Anyways, I'm about to go to work. Well, I work from home, but I'm about to start working. Um, I just got Dunkin', like the drink. Um, I just got coffee for the morning, so. Yeah, I'm about to go work for a little bit. I'm about to start working, but this is the worst thing in the world for me. I won't focus, but when I like do something, like so I edited a video last night, and but it's so long that when I went to post it today, it like went to my cloud instead of just being on my computer. So now I have to wait for it to download and it's like five gigabytes. So it's just taking forever. Does anyone else run into this problem? Does anyone else? Anyways. Okay, now for real, it's 8.45. I'm about to go work for real this time. Hey guys, so it is currently almost 11.30. Um, I haven't finished my Dunkin' yet. But I finished um, a little bit of studying that I did. And then obviously I've been working this whole time. So I just wanted to get on here and give you a little update. Literally nothing has changed. I'm still working. Um, and I'm waiting for that video to download again to my computer so I can upload it to YouTube, but yeah, nothing crazy yet. Um, I'm thinking about lunch. Obviously I still have some of this to drink, so I'm not going to have lunch just yet, but, um, I didn't, I don't think I gave you guys like an update of like what my day is today anyways. So I'm going to do that really quick. So I'm working right now. Um, I started work at 8.45, so I should be done around 4.45, and then I have to coach at 5.30. Um, I'm coaching the modified team at my old high school, cheer, obviously, um, and then I actually am thinking about going to the gym after that, which normally I wouldn't go to the gym at night because it's so busy there anyways, but I figured today's shoulder day, and that's usually a dumbbell heavy workout most of the time anyways so I'm hoping that I can just find a little piece of like the turf or I don't know something and get a nice little shoulder workout in even though holding this camera up is doing wonders for that um and then I actually went running for the first time and I don't even know how long last night and I actually liked it I I alternated quarter mile running and walking and I did two miles so I'm thinking that I might do a little bit of the same tonight um I actually think that I just don't like running on a treadmill but if I run like you know in my town or, or in my neighborhood um I actually enjoyed it so that's the plan so um obviously like I just said working until 4 45 and then I have about 45 minutes to like change get myself you know situated to go coach and then coach from 5 30 to 7 and then right after that I'm gonna go straight to the gym which I need to think about when I'm gonna eat probably in between at like 5 or something I'm gonna eat and then um, go to the gym lift and then maybe go on a run and then come back and I don't know what else I'm gonna do well I do need to get my nails done but that's not what I was gonna do today um, I'm just sitting here trying to wait for this to download again because my computer shut off and it didn't finish downloading last time. Um, yeah, after I get home from the gym and like working out, 
I think I just need to read my book because I'm reading Wuthering Wuther Wuthering why does that sound wrong Wuthering Wuthering that sounds so wrong Wuthering I don't know Wuthering Heights I, I, I don't know why it sounds really wrong the way I'm saying it but it does I've read it before like years ago and I just got it again from the um thrift store there is something going on with me right now and I don't know what it is thrift store not too long ago so I figured I would read it again but yeah that's kind of my little update for you here's Duncan staring out the window are you staring out the window say hi just sitting by the window like a good little boy even though he was naughty last night get you good boy yeah his mom and his brother aren't down here right now so he's kind of just chilling because they torment him but anyways okay i'm going to go back and keep working welcome back it is currently 1.15 and I just got off a phone call with one of my coworkers. Making myself, I just made myself some lunch, just a ham and cheese sandwich with a crap ton of Cheetos. I accidentally poured too many. Got some strawberry milk and then I'm gonna grab an apple too. But, ooh, this one doesn't look that good. Okay, not this one, maybe this one. Got an apple too. I'm gonna throw the other one out. Um, but yeah, that is the lunch sitch right now. Just gonna watch like YouTube videos or something while I eat. And then, yeah. So just wanted to give you guys an update. Oops, on that. Um, I, obviously, I obviously still have to work, but this one thing that I'm doing has been taking me all morning. Um, and my, I talked, I was on my, the phone with my coworker for, with it. Oh my goodness, I can't talk. I was on the phone with my coworker about it since like 11.30. So it's been like an hour and a half of us on the phone trying to figure this out and we can't figure it out. So I'm gonna go to my boss, ask her about it, see what she thinks. But yeah, um, there's cat hair everywhere in this house. That's what happens when you have a furry cat. Anyways, like I said, I'm going to watch a YouTube video and eat my food, so. Hey guys, so it's about 4.55. Um, I just finished work and just uh, playing some Monopoly Go. And I'm about to change. Um, I might eat a snack because I'm not starving yet. So I might eat a snack and then head over to the high school to coach and then I'm gonna go to the gym, like I said. So I'm gonna see you guys in a second when I change and show you guys what I'm gonna wear. Okay, the lighting down here is so bad. I have all the lights on in here, and it's just so dark. Anyways, I can't wait to go upstairs, but um, for the coaching slash gym fit, today's shoulders and abs, so I like to wear pants when I'm not lifting legs, which right now that's three days a week-ish. I do shoulders and abs on Monday, quads, or no, hams and glutes on Tuesdays, chest and triceps Wednesdays, back and biceps Thursdays, and then glutes and quads on Fridays, if I lift on Friday, you know. Anyways, I'm wearing a Bills t-shirt, um, this, like, orange Lulu bra, um, I'll show you the back in a second. I literally don't know what it's called, it's really old, and then just plain black aligns with some Nike socks, but that's just the fit, and then I'll probably just wear my white Nike Air Max 270s because um, they go with the fit, obviously. But yeah, I'm, I have like, I don't know, 10 minutes till I need to leave, maybe 15. So I think I'm gonna um, try to read a little bit because I didn't end up eating. So I'm gonna have to bring a protein bar with me to the gym. And I have one in my bag, but my bag has been in my car for like four days. So I don't think it's going to be okay to eat. It might be melted. So anyways, yeah. Okay. Good morning. So it is currently like four days later from the last thing I recorded. 
Um, it's Thursday morning. It's about 8.20 a.m. I'm literally about to start working, but I just got back from Starbucks. I used one of my reusable cups to get a venti vanilla sweet cream cold brew with extra sweet cream. And yesterday I got my nails done. Just the simple pink. This is called Flower Girl from like the D&D &D connection. Collection, not connection. Jeez. Um, but yeah. Anyways, I went shopping yesterday after I went to get my nails done. And I wanted to show you guys everything I got because honestly I feel like I got a lot for like a decent price. I'm going to put all the prices on here because I'm like actually proud of myself for like the amount of stuff I got at the price point. So we're going to start with the first place I went to, which was actually Abercrombie. Um, and I wasn't going to buy anything because I found so many cute things. And like their jeans are just so cute, but they're like $100. And it's just like, I can't fathom spending $100 on a pair of jeans. Like at least at American Eagle, it's like two for six, like two for like a hundred. Like you can get two pairs of jeans for $100, but... Abercrombie, no. So, I was looking at the sale racks, and they had this super cute, just plain white, long sleeve bodysuit, and I, I'm not normally a fan of bodysuits, but, um, this is just so, like, the material on this is so soft, and, and it's on sale. It was only 20 bucks, so the total on this one with tax was $20.69. So we're going to add that up because I really do want to see, like, how much money I spent yesterday. But anyways, so this is just a plain white bodysuit. I figured that this would be perfect in, like, the fall to wear, like, um, with a pair of jeans or with a with a, flan a flannel. I was about to call it a flannel again. <laughs> anyways, I, clearly there's something wrong with me. But anyways, yes, this is the first thing I got. Um... It's so soft and comfy. I don't know why it was on sale. Um, I tried to see if there was any, like, rips or tears. I didn't see anything. So, the button's buttoned. Like, I'm not really sure. So, hopefully, that's good. Next place I went to was actually American Eagle. And I got a lot of stuff here for pretty cheap, actually. I was straight on the sale rack the whole time. So, I paid $36.78 with tax for all the stuff I'm about to show you. So, I'm actually really surprised. First thing I got were these boyfriend socks. I honestly got them because of this this pair right here, this pair with the butterflies. And then it also comes with these ones. Um, I love wearing this, like, not full-size socks, but I love wearing them to lift. And I didn't lift today, but I love wearing them to lift. So these ones ended up only being... Um, 560 so I feel like that's pretty good for like a pair of um and then there, I got a couple shirts for next one I got is this like green one shoulder cropped little tank and then I really got it because I love the back um and they had them in a bunch of different colors but I think I don't have anything in this color anymore um and this one ended up only being 798 so I feel like that's like really good for like American Eagle, like $8 for a tank top. Um, and then I also got this little tank top or cropped t-shirt. This one also is super soft and I don't really have like, this is the only cropped t-shirt I have and it's just like this plain white color. So I got it in this like cream color. It's super soft and this one was also $7.98. But it is just so soft. Like, so soft. And then, this one, I picked it up and I was like, this is very much out of my comfort zone. But I think it would be so freaking cute. Like, maybe on my birthday or something. But it's this, like, denim tank top. Cropped tank top thing. And it looks like this. And I think this will be so cute. Like, if I had matching jeans and like cowboy boots like that would be so cute so I'm gonna have to look around and see what I can find that will go with this but I just think this is so cute it's so out of my comfort zone and it was only $13.98 for this 
So I feel like that's a really good deal for something that's like actually like jeans material and like denim. So I really like it. I don't know what I'm going to wear it to, but I feel like I'm going to have to find something. So like I said, the total there was $36.78. Okay, that's only two stores. The next place I went to was actually Dry Goods. I went to this store for the first time when I was in Nashville. Um, I think I recorded the haul and posted it on YouTube, so you guys have probably seen it. Um, but they're like decent, it's like a boutique kind of place. They have a bunch of different kinds of like sections. It's kind of like Francesca's, but like better. And I have really liked what I found there. I always thought it was just like this really expensive store, but it's not. It's decently priced. So I have been looking for this spe specific item at a store for literally like, I don't even know how long. And I finally found it and it was only... $29 so once you see what it is you'll see why I'm like kind of hype about it um but it is just this really plain like knitted um vest and I think this would look really cute with like a turtleneck under like a turtleneck like bodysuit or like tank top not tank top but any kind of like turtleneck and I think this will just look so good for the winter or like the fall like I said, this was only $29 and I did get it in a size extra large um, because I wanted it to be a bit oversized on me, but this is just so cute. I've been wanting something like this for a really long time and I got it. I'm just really proud of myself for like the things that I bought because I walked into Lululemon and I saw like six things and I was like, I cannot do that right now. So I walked right out. Like I didn't even go in the store. That's how bad it was. So I just wrapped this back up, but that was 30.02 with tax. I'm at. And then the last store I went to was Charlotte Bruce, which I normally don't go there, but I was looking at their graphic tees like through the window and I was like, oh, maybe I'll go look at their graphic tees. And then I was like, eh, I don't really like any of them either. But on the other side, they had, um, well, they, I'll show you. I'll show you everything. Um, so first thing I saw was this black puffer vest and like I said even like last I used to have like three different puffer vests and then when I went to college I got rid of all of them because I didn't need them in Kentucky but now I'm thinking I should have just kept them because I had literally like three or four of them anyways this one I got this one um it doesn't have a hood which honestly it doesn't bother me I got it in an extra large again like I said I just love things big and like oversized on me but this is what it looks like it's literally just a plain black puffer vest with a zipper can you two stop um and it was $15 obviously I don't expect it to be like super warm and like all that kind of stuff but you can't beat $15 like you just can't so now I'm realizing this receipt is for my nails anyways so that was the first thing I got from there. And then the next two things I got, I'm actually like really proud of. And I think my mom will be proud of me for them as well. Because, um, yeah, you'll see. So, why is there like so many different, but anyways. These were buy one, get one for a dollar. So they ended up being $21 for both, for together, like total, for both of these items. And it is just this g brown blazer. This is in a size medium, and just look at how big and oversized it is. So I got a brown one, and then I also got this black one. And obviously, like, ideally, I um, probably would have wanted, like, the cream-colored one instead of this one. But... I was like, honestly though, I probably would wear the black one more. I don't know. We'll see if they still have this sale going on like next week or something. Like I might go back and buy the other one because they had like, they had a uh, dark olive colored one. They had a cream one and I think they had a gray one too. Um, but anyways, so yeah, that is all the stuff that I got. I'm like really excited for most of this because it's like more grown up things other than the stuff I got at American Eagle. But um it's like more grown up I like official anyways 
So I spent thirty-seven twenty-six at Charlotte Russe. So my total yesterday for all the stuff I got, I only spent one hundred and twenty-five dollars, and I feel like for me that is really good. Um, so I'm I'm really proud of myself for that. But yeah, so now it's eight thirty. I need to go to work. Uh, go to work. I need to go start working in the other room. But yeah, that is everything that I got at the mall yesterday. I got my nails done, got at the mall. I have to go to the currency exchange place today because there's only one in Rochester and I have to go before tomorrow because we have Canadian money left from last weekend when we went to Niagara Falls, which I didn't record that, but I kind of wish I did because it was fun, even though I was not feeling good in the morning. Anyways, all right. I'm gonna go work. I have a meeting in about half an hour and I have some stuff to get done before that. So I will talk to you guys later. Hey guys, so it's quite a bit later now. I am editing this video and I realized that I didn't um, say goodbye, give you an outro. So um, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and comment down below and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.